Wow. Uh, beginning of the year, and we're starting out already with Ryobi. I said to myself this weekend, there's no way that they are going to just jump right into it in the 2026 year. No way they're just going to start releasing new tools this Monday because they always put out their press releases on Monday. So TTI, meaning Milwaukee, uh, Ryobi, Rigid. Every Monday, if there is a release, it will be on a Monday. And I was like, there's no way. But I was wrong, and here they go. And not only did they release one new tool, they released a couple of new tools that are going to be available in February 2026. And uh, it's pretty impressive because I'm pretty excited about the things that I'm seeing here. And I know a lot of you like the type of tools that we're looking at today. So let's just get into it. And if they are available, I'll try to attach them to the shopping bag on this video. But uh, let's just get into this. All right, so actually, there's going to be three of these, I believe. So... <laughs> I mean, good on them, and we'll talk about why that's so impressive here. It's not like you just come out with a new tool. Uh, I'll explain the process to you a little bit later in the video, but this is going to be the new 150-watt power source. Now, this is an upgrade, an update to their current one, which I still use and don't have any issues with it. They take an 18-volt battery, and you can see this is the 2-amp hour that they have here, but you have a couple different power sources here. You're going to have a 30-watt C drive, so not the fastest, but... Still 30 watts is pretty good. My phone, my Samsung, charges at 45 watts, so it's not going to get the full capacity on this right here. Um, but you do have the 18-watt USB-A. A lot of people don't like charging their phones fast, um, but you also have a 120-volt AC uh, ungrounded outlet right here. So up on top, you've got a couple different buttons. You have a light, and then you also have your power buttons for your power sources up here. So this is going to turn these on and off. So if you're not using the outlet, you just hit this button and it's going to shut it off. If you're not using your USB-C or whatever, you're going to hit this button. It's going to shut it off. So this is going to be a lot more portable. Let's scroll down here. So the MSRP on this tool only, and that's the model number right here. You're looking at 70 bucks. We're going to round out that three cents isn't fooling me. So $70 for that specifications. You're going to have uh, uses 18 volt batteries for 150 watt uh, convenient portable power. Uh, this is going to be for smaller things. You're going to be able to charge your phone, your electronics, power, uh, power devices like lights, fans, and TVs, or charge small electronics like phones, tablets, laptops, and more. And of course, you know, the larger the battery that you use, the more charge power you're going to have. Meaning that if I put a two amp hour with your basic standard battery, you're not going to be able to charge up a full laptop. But if I put a 12 amp hour HP on there, then I'm gonna be able to charge up probably my entire laptop or my phone or whatever we're doing here. And what they state here is exactly correct. It's uh, perfect for on the go power. So maybe you're out on the work site or maybe you're tailgating, they say beach days, <laughs> camping or other recreational activities. So like you're hunting, you know, you're at the cabin, the beach, whatever used to charge phones or power other small devices during power outages experience higher quality power for sensitive electronics with pure sine wave technology so what's nice about this i'm not going to get into it too far i'm not going to geek out on you long story short this will not damage your phones or electronics it's not going to power surge um, this will be safe for your electronics to charge uh, and i'm not going to read all this because we have a few other things we're going to get to uh, i'm just trying to show you what we got going on and then you can read this yourself here all right so let's get on to number two here and this one here i'll tell you for a little bit more money you're getting a lot more it looks the same but it is not it's going to offer you much more so if you look right yeah you can see this is a 60 watt the last one was a 30 watt out this is a 60 watt out so a lot faster charging but it's also power direct and what's nice about this is now you plug in your smaller cell phone or plug in a laptop the internals is going to say hey listen this laptop needs more power to charge or the cell phone might not need as much power to charge and it's going to adjust itself correctly so you're going to have the 60 watt out but then on the other side here you're also going to have a 30 watt so you're going to have the 60 watt for faster charging if you wanted and you have a 30 watt so that's pretty cool and you also have that usb a right here plus the outlet now it's going to be the same up on the top you're going to have a light you can see the buttons are a different color i believe uh, you can see the light up on the front and then here's your on and off for each one of these units and again it's going to run off the 18 volts so I, I think this is really cool me personally if you're just somebody that wants to charge your cell phone from time to time but if you need more power this is the one to go to but i'm not done yet we're going to scroll down i'll give you some specs here and then we got we got something that's really cool coming up uh so this is the 18 volt one plus 200 watt power source charger Tool only, you're looking at 119. So if you're already on the platform, you pay 119 and uh, you get that tool. 
Meaning if you already have the 18 volt, then you don't have to buy another one. If you don't have any 18 volts, you're gonna get the kit here with one two amp hour and it's 159, which still isn't a bad buy for everything that you get. And again, this is good for your lights, your fans, your TV, smaller electronics like phones, tablets, laptops, and more. These are really, really nice. It's gonna give you the same type of uh, area to use this, you know, beach days, <laughs> camping, or even during power outages. So that's where it really comes in. And then the 60 watt, that is a really nice addition to that. It says charge an 18 volt, two amp hour battery <clears throat> in 35 minutes. All right, here is what's cool about this. So you're gonna get a, a USB-C 60 watt Right here, it says integrated phone or tablet holder on this. So let me, let me scroll up. There's a couple different things. So this right here is your phone or tablet holder up on top. But, and we have more pictures here, but this is what's really cool. It looks like you're going to be able to recharge your 18 volt. It says charge an 18 volt, two amp hour in 35 minutes. So it looks like you're not only going to be able to charge your, your battery using this, which is, you don't see that that often. But solar charging compatible with the Ryobi 21 watt and 60 watt solar panels using the USB-C port. So not only is this going to be power out, it looks like power in to recharge rays with solar. So uh, I think that's pretty freaking awesome. And, and this is why I'm telling you, this is why I tell you they go a little above and beyond when it comes to stuff like this. And, and to be able to do that, it's not just like you're using up your 18 volt and then it's dead. And then you got to find another 18 volt. You can recharge with solar on this thing. That's what it looks like to me. That's what it's saying. Unless I'm reading it wrong, which I'm never wrong. But now let's move it up to the big boy here. Um, I have some more pictures that I'll show you, but this is really real nice. Like this is the 40 volt, 300 watt power source charger. Now, if you don't know, this is a six amp hour. The 40 volt line goes up to 12 amp hour. They also have those new edge batteries out. So you're going to get a little bit more power and a lot longer run time on this. So let's take a look at this. This looks freaking awesome. This is the pure sine wave as well. 300 watt output charging. You're going to have a 100 watt PD C port right here. Then you're going to have a 60 watt. So 100 watt and a 60 watt plus an 18 watt USB A. You're going to have a light button right here. You're going to have a 120 volt AC ungrounded outlet right here. You got a handle right here. This looks awesome. You got all of your warning lights and what the flashes mean right here. Uh, this is awesome. Let's read down through some of the specs, but I will tell you. So it looks like it's tool only. So if you're already in the 40 volt lineup, which so many of you are, every time I walk out of Home Depot, somebody's walking out with a 40 volt tool. This is not bad if you ask me. Uh, 119 bucks for this, and that's tool only. So it uses the 40 volt for 300 watt convenient portable power, power devices like lights, fan, Wi-Fi modem, small appliances, and more power electronics or charging right OB 40 volt batteries through the USC port. So you're also going to be able to charge. You can plug this into a wall, charge that if you wanted to. Once you come back on grid from your off grid or whatever you're doing, your trip or whatever, or you're probably going to be able to so yeah, you're gonna be able to solar charge this on there. It's not gonna be the fastest charge. You know, 60 watt is not the fastest, but it's better than nothing. Solar charging capable with the Ryobi 60 watt solar panel using this USB-C port. Carrying handle, individual on and off switches like we talked about on the other one, three mode LED task light. Uh, it says charge a Ryobi 40 volt, four amp hour bet ray in 105 minutes. And that seems to be with the 60 watts in now if you're using solar you're not always going to get 60 watts sometimes it's going to get cloudy and your, your watch is going to drop down to 30 40 15 watts so it's going to take longer that's like the best of the best when they when they talk spec wise uh, but that's better than nothing power an led light uh, 12 hours using a 40 volt 4 amp hour 36 hours using a 40 volt 12 amp hour so it's a big jump using the 12 amp hour Power TV for hours using a four amp hour, 12 hours uh, using a 40 volt, 12 amp hour. So you're powering the TV for a long time, 12 hours. Lightweight, compact, only two pounds. So it does look, I mean, sometimes these pictures make them look bigger than what they are. This is probably pretty portable, I would imagine. But uh, yeah, this is freaking awesome.
Now they do have a chart here. So the wattage 150, uh, this one here is 200 and this one here is 300 and everything is check marked. So you got phones, fans, Wi-Fi, crock pot, laptop, tablet, lights, pretty much everything you need right here uh, with the 300 watt for the 200 watt phone, tablet, laptop, light, fan. And then for the 150 watt, uh, you're looking at phone, tablet, and laptop and the power device for all charge small electronics so check mark you see you, you can read this uh cell phone charges it uh, everything on the right hand side this larger one it's going to do what you need it to do the 200 watt it's still going to do what you need it to do uh the 150 watt it's good for like you know smaller jobs electronics it's okay i like this one i like this one uh, if you're budget friendly then you know this one here would work out for you now, I do want to say one other thing, you know, when it comes to, and I'll show you some pictures, when it comes to these tools, I got to visit one time with Vance at Vegan Cookies Good. We got to visit the Ryobi factory, and it's not like they just come out with stuff and say, you know, we're going to make a charge today. No, it, it is a process. You have a team of engineers that pretty much go in there, and, and they got like clay sculptures of what this thing's going to look like, and then they, it, it's just a, a very large process. You know, they got labs down there and, and uh, you know, testing areas down there. See, that's the C4. I like that they give you that. I'm not sure what that brick is. I don't know if we talked about how many watts in. But I like that they give you that. It's going to help charge faster. That's your electronic holder. But it is a large process. You've got a team of people that are working on these. And like I said, they sculpt these out. And it looked real, like they were showing me a saw one time. And I thought it was a real saw, but it wasn't. It was like a, a sculpted clay or plastic, 3D printed, whatever it was. Uh, prototype and it was pretty freaking awesome i like that they have the light right there and it takes a team of these people doing for them to come out with this stuff constantly just boom 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 um, i think that's pretty real nice like so i want to know what you think i like the holder up there and again here's a couple different pictures my phone's going crazy my phone's excited it wants the energy you got fans in there you can run your phone storm warning you're at the airport I like this large one. I think this is pretty cool. When I say large, I mean it's the more powerful one out of the others. This is everything you need. That 100-watt PD, 60-watt. I think that's great. Pure sine wave. You don't have to worry about damaging stuff. I like that you got the carrying handle there. Um, yeah, so it's just a little bit larger than your 40-volt. So if you own a 40-volt, you know what the size of this is going to be. And you can see they're recharging this with their... Solar panel, what's nice about this, it looks like they're charging at the t same time they are bringing power in. So it looks like you're going to be able to do that. So very cool. Uh, I'm excited about this. Let me know what you're thinking at Sweet Sweet comment section below. And check out this video right here. Back with uh, some tool reviews this week. Bye-bye.